Are you tired of hitting those sluggish render times and looking for the best laptop for 3D modeling, the kind that never lets you down? Well, you've landed in the right spot. Today, we're diving into the world of laptops built specifically for creative professionals and 3D artists. If you're into Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, or heavy-duty CAD work, you know a regular laptop just doesn't cut it. So in this video, I'm counting down the seven absolute best laptops for 3D modeling in 2025. And trust me, some of these laptops seriously surprised me. Stick around, because the one I crowned as number one is a total studio game changer. Number seven, Asus ROG Strix G16. You know, the Asus ROG Strix G16 tried its best to impress me. And um, I mean, there's a lot it gets right, but also a few things that made me go, hmm. The G16 packs a punch with its Intel Core i9-13980HX processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 GPU, meaning ray tracing in Blender and high polygon scenes in Maya run surprisingly smoothly. I threw a complex ZBrush sculpt at it, and it didn't even flinch, so if you're looking for brute force, the Strix G16 is a solid contender. The real magic happens in gaming, obviously. At its native 1920 by 1200 resolution, that 165Hz refresh rate is a dream come true for fast-paced games and fluid viewport navigation, even with heavy geometry and multiple textures in play. The keyboard and trackpad also felt super premium, like they belonged on a machine at least twice the price. But I'll be honest, the chassis is chunky and, well, not exactly what you'd call elegant. I found it awkward to slide into my bag, and it's heavier than most slim, creative laptops. One thing I noticed, after a couple of hours of rendering a long scene in 3ds Max, the cooling system struggled to keep temps down. The fans got loud, and I could feel a bit of heat on the palm rest. While it's built like a tank, portability is just not its strong suit. Battery life, too, is middling. Expect to be plugged in for any serious project beyond quick mockups. Number six, Gigabyte Aero 17. Well, the Gigabyte Aero 17 is one of those laptops that initially makes your jaw drop. I mean, that massive 17-inch 4K display is nothing short of breathtaking, with color accuracy that makes modeling and rendering way slicker, especially for product visualization or architectural scenes. The chassis is thin and surprisingly portable for its size, and the near borderless design is a win for immersive work. Under the hood, the Aero 17 is a monster, sporting the latest Intel Core i9 and RTX Studio certification. When I tested some heavy simulations in Houdini and did some 4K exports in Premiere Pro, those tasks zipped along. No choking, no lag. It's got great thermal management with a double fan super cool setup and 11 vents. Honestly, the machine stays cooler than you'd expect with this much horsepower. But you know, not everything was perfect. The keyboard felt a bit mushy to me, especially for long modeling sessions. The trackpad was just okay, not exactly what you'd want when sculpting fine details or moving vertices around. And here's the rub. If you begin to multitask hard, like running several heavy apps, things can start to slow down unexpectedly, especially if you're not plugged into wall power. I experienced some frame drops during ultra high res previews, though dialing down the quality improved things. Battery life is another sore spot. It drains quickly when rendering or editing video. So portability is a bit of a mixed bag here, thin and light for its class, but don't expect all day creation away from an outlet. Number five, Razer Blade 16. All right, stepping up the ladder is the Razer Blade 16, and wow, I mean, this laptop looks and feels premium. Even from the moment you open the lid, the design screams sophistication. Thin, light, and every bit as stunning as you'd expect from Razer. This year's model brings AMD's latest Ryzen AI chip and Nvidia's new 50 series graphics, RTX 5060, or the top-end RTX 5090 in some configurations, which is blazing fast. I loaded up Blender, Substance Painter, and Unreal Engine for some real-world tests, and performance was, well, honestly kind of mind-blowing. Scenes that usually stuttered, even with lots of particles or detailed textures, were smooth, thanks to the speedy CPU and GPU. The 240Hz display is a marvel, making viewport navigation and animation playback buttery. Add in per-key RGB, 
remappable keys, and Razer Synapse's super intuitive customization, and you've got a laptop that adapts to your workflow. Unlike the last two entries, the Blade 16 actually handles cooling really well, staying quiet even under load. It also boasts impressive battery life improvements over earlier Razer models, so working at a cafe or on the train is actually doable. The sound is punchy, but not boomy, and the build quality is unmatched. If I had to nitpick, the price is, well, premium. You're definitely paying for that blend of power and portability. But if you're serious about 3D modeling, animation, and even video editing, this is a laptop worth investing in. A luxury experience that feels justified by sheer performance. 4. Acer Concept D7 CN757171TE Now, the Concept D7 from Acer is a creator's dream come true. I mean, you can just tell it's engineered for the artistic soul, from the pristine white finish, that's actually stain resistant, what? To its slim magnesium aluminum build, which is both impossibly light and tough. The 4K IPS display comes with 100% Adobe RGB coverage, calibrated for a Delta E2, so colors are punchy, accurate, and true to life. During my tests, the Concept D7 handled both 2D and 3D work with ease, thanks to the Intel Core i7 processor, 16GB RAM, and, in the higher configs, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super Max-Q graphics. Whether I was sculpting, animating, or exporting 6K video files, performance stayed steady and responsive. The keyboard and touchpad were comfy for marathon modeling sessions, and the quiet triple fan cooling system kept things cool without sounding like a jet engine. Battery life was solid, about 7 hours in light usage, but expect less when the GPU is pumping hard. The port selection is creator-friendly, with HDMI, DisplayPort, and all the USBs you'll ever need. The only meh part, the audio isn't spectacular, just basic stereo speakers. But honestly, if you prioritize sharp visuals and accurate color above all, the Concept D7 is a top pick. 3. Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Here's where things start getting really, really good. The Lenovo Legion Pro 7i is a powerhouse and probably the best gaming to creator crossover I tested. The 16-inch 2560x1600 display is outrageously vibrant. Dolby Vision, HDR, and 240Hz mean you see every texture and polygon in stunning detail. This machine is Pantone validated for color work, so if you model for games or animation, you'll appreciate just how right things look. Under the hood, the Legion packs top-tier Intel CPUs and NVIDIA RTX 490 graphics. I threw huge scenes at it in Blender and 3ds Max, and it didn't even blink. Real-time rendering, viewport navigation, complex simulations, it's all butter. There's even a webcam privacy switch and Nehemic audio for that extra immersion in cinematic animation work. The real star here? The thermal management and steady battery life. Even during exhausting render sessions, temp stayed cool and performance never throttled. The keyboard is tactile and comfy, and the whole machine feels built to take a beating. Yeah, it's not the slimmest laptop around, but for sheer power, display quality, and creator friendliness, it's hard to beat. Number two, Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. Okay, so here's a personal favorite. The Asus ZenBook Pro 14 OLED combines a razor-sharp 2.8K 120Hz OLED screen with excellent portability, just 14.5 inches, but wow, the detail and color pop like you'd expect from a professional monitor. It's powered by the latest Intel Core i9, NVIDIA RTX 4060 graphics, and has the unique Asus dial pad, which lets you fine-tune tools in Blender or Photoshop with a simple twist. Seriously, once you get used to it, you'll wonder how you lived without it. This laptop is tiny but mighty. It's stellar for all types of 3D work, from sculpting to technical modeling, and is crazy good when it comes to battery endurance, lasting eight hours in mixed use. The build is ultra premium, the touchpad and keyboard feel luxurious, and the speakers are some of the best I've heard on any ultra portable. One downside, extreme workloads can cause some thermal throttling. The slim design means the fans don't have as much room to breathe as bigger laptops, so the CPU doesn't run at full tilt indefinitely. But for most users, unless you're batch rendering for hours, it's perfect. Lightweight, feature-packed, and a true studio companion for creators who move around. 1. HI Evolution Z17 
And finally, um, I gotta say, the HI Evolution Z17 blew me away and totally deserves the number one spot. This is not just a laptop, it's practically a mobile studio. That whopping Intel Core i9-14900HX processor and up to a jaw-dropping 128GB RAM put this in a league of its own. You know, when you load up the biggest scenes imaginable, say 3D environments with thousands of assets, fluid sims, or VR-ready prototypes, this thing never slows down. Graphics cards go up to the RTX 4070, and the display is 17 inches of pure pixel-perfect clarity with Quad HD Plus resolution. It's big, heavy, and maybe intimidating at first, but it's surprisingly easy to work on, whether I was animating, rendering, or even editing full-length feature projects. The battery is sizable, so you do get decent unplugged time, and the I.O. is more than generous. Well, where do I begin? Performance is class-leading. RAM and storage options are insane. The keyboard feels pro, not gimmicky. The only real downside might be, this is an investment. Price-wise, you're getting a true workstation in a portable form, so yeah, it's for professionals willing to put quality and performance above all. So if you want a laptop that can handle anything you throw at it and take your 3D modeling, animation, or film work to absolute heights, the HI Devolution Z17 is the one. It's changed the game for studio mobility, period. Final thought, and there you have it. Seven insanely capable laptops for 3D modeling in 2025, tested, critiqued, and ranked. Whether you're just getting started or working at the cutting edge, one of these will absolutely transform your creative workflow. Which one blew you away? Drop your thoughts below. Let's geek out over specs together.